Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, we caught over 17 inches of rain in the past few days, so all the water storage is looking good. And now we need some sun, of course. <laughs> That's the flip side. Got the water into good shape. Solar's running a little low. Hopefully this cloudy situation will start to break up a little bit more over the next few days get the batteries up to charge 17 inches in three days impressive rain so today we're going to take another look at this go kilowatt hour 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery we reviewed this a little while ago we found some issues with it they were open to some constructive criticism and they have sent a second unit out and hopefully some of those issues have been resolved. So this one on the left here is the, the one we opened up and took a look at. And it, here's the one on the right that they sent out that is supposedly revamped and they've corrected some of the issues we found. And on first glance, you can see they look basically the same. Uh, the only difference that I see is the little battery capacity monitor looks a little bit different on the new unit and then it came with a couple of QR codes which wasn't on the first one. This is the display on the first one and we'll hit this one and you can see the display has been changed. They've got a color display now that's reading 13.2 volts. And on the multimeter, we got 13.1. And they both do have a removable case. You can see that I've removed the caps that it comes with, like here. And then you just unscrew this and pop it open. And it's the inside of this where we found all the issues. And on the first one that we reviewed, we found that all this packing foam in here was not in place. Everything was loose. The BMS was poorly secured to the top. I have since repurposed some of these to make it a tight fit in here, but the way it was would not have been good for any kind of mobile application going down the road with a vehicle, RV, whatnot. This thing would have been shaking and rattling in there. The BMS was shaking and rattling. You can go back to my previous video to see what that looked like. But I have used what it came with to put this back in here tight so nothing is moving around. But in that first video, we just had loose pieces in here and this thing could just bounce around back and forth. So let's pop this one open right now and see if they've made the improvements needed. So here again is the first one we reviewed and you know it was just packed with this super low density foam and it was not even secure in there whatsoever. Like I mentioned these pieces were just loose. Uh, there was no securing whatsoever. And then we pop this one open and voila. You know there we go. High density foam. This thing is secure. There is no loose. I mean it's solid now. That's what was needed for sure. Take a peek down in there. Everything looks pretty good. So I don't know what they were thinking with the first one. I mean, they were just using literally the low density foam, just pieces cut off from the packing material. I will say that when this arrived in the shipping box and this is it, uh, everything was super tight. Uh, there was no way for that battery to be bouncing around upon shipment. And they both have the pouch cells. We did do a capacity test on this. It came in at uh, 104 amp hours. So it exceeded its capacity rating. So I'm not even going to do that on this one. But uh, this was the thing that I was most concerned with. And this is basically what we're used to seeing on this style of battery is you know nice high density foam packed in here so tight to where you can take it down the road bounce it around in your camping applications or whatever now the way i repurposed this was just for using it around here 
Uh, it did work just fine. Everything worked on this battery as expected. Like I said, the capacity exceeded its rating. And, you know, I just didn't want it, no matter how I would move this around, I didn't want anything moving in there. I, I did restrap the BMS on there very, very tight. So anyway, that's the difference. So one of the things that I was impressed about uh, when they first shipped this out before we ever took a look at it was the price point. It was like 216 bucks. So, you know, these batteries are getting uh, right down to that $200 range for this size of a battery. And I even heard from some of you over the Black Friday sales that some batteries out there, maybe not this particular company, but some batteries had even dipped below $200, which is great for all of us. But this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see like we're normally used to, you open up the battery, super tight, high density foam in there. There's no, there's no room for uh, anything to be shaking loose. Where the BMS is back here, it's so tight that that thing's not gonna move either. So that's exactly what we wanted to see. And that's the comparison. So yeah, it was a little shoddy on the first attempt, second attempt, Looks pretty good. Can live with that for sure. And I do like the fact that it's an accessible case. Eight screws, four on each side. Pop it open and you can look at it. So, yeah. And I will say that they did contact me and said, hey, we are really open to, you you know, some constructive criticism. So, yeah, this just wasn't what we expect to see. This is what we expect to see. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. So <laughs> I will say that this one is so tight. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bust it, bust it loose. Uh, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. We'll put it through some tests over time. I don't expect to find anything wrong with it at this point. And like I said, this one was, I've been using this. Uh, to make sure it's still living up to its specifications it definitely does so it's a good working battery and now it's a better looking good working battery <laughs> so yeah always nice to have a company that listens uh, to some of the complaints we may have on it and make the appropriate changes so this just doesn't look untypical now this looks just like everything we're used to so thanks to Go Kilowatt Hour for uh, making a second attempt and sending an, uh, the revamped model out. Uh, we're going to like this one a lot better. If at first you don't succeed, right? Try again. <laughs> so there you go. Hey, and there we've got some blue sky and better sunshine conditions coming in right now. So things are looking great. Like I said, all the battery systems are down a little bit, actually quite a bit. So we're in need of a decent charge today. It's not gonna be full charge kind of weather by any means, but uh, the rain did stop. So yeah, cried about rain for uh, a few weeks, not seeing any, and then caught about six months worth of water in three days. So everything's, Looking very, very good. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha. Yeah. Beautiful day.